pricing your junk removal jobs. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I do over the phone estimates. My name is Mario Flores, and I'm the owner of PDX Junk Busters, a local junk removal company out of Portland, Oregon. I also run this YouTube channel, Junk Removal Cash, to show you my tips and tricks of what I've learned along the way. So my over the phone estimates are pretty simple. I just follow these three simple steps. Basically, just listen to the customer as much as you can. And what I do is, if they call me and they tell me that they have like a single item pickup, I already know what my, my base fee is for a single item, or up to two to three items. Um, after that, they'll usually start the conversation by saying, hey, we're moving, or we have something going on where we need to clean out, maybe the garage, maybe there's some stuff in the attic, and they just have this big list of stuff that they wanna get rid of. And at that point, what I do is I give them uh, trailer load prices. And what I try to do the best is not to confuse the customer. Some people will give you a cubic yard and expect you to know how much that is. And most residential customers do not know how much a cubic yard is. So what I do is I break it down. When I get on the phone, I tell them that we use dump trailers. The trailers are 12 feet long, six feet wide, and four feet tall. Most people can relate to that and they can build that trailer in their head. And they can build the amount of stuff that they think that will fit in that trailer. So at that point, I tell them, you know, this is how much we charge for a full trailer, this is how much we charge for a half a trailer, and this is how much we charge for a quarter of the trailer. Customers are usually pretty comfortable with that, and at that point, we can book them. Um, the only time that we go out for an estimate is really when somebody has a, a bigger job, where it's maybe like a house clean-out, a hoarding clean-out, or just a situation where you don't really know what to expect. Like, um, I would say for, for construction jobs, I, I would really go out there before I give them a price over the phone just because construction debris are really heavy and um, most of them will downplay how much they have or if it's stuff like plaster you really need to go out there and see how many bags of plaster they have or tile just because those items can be really heavy and depending on how much your um, your dump fees are they can be quite expensive so that's really what we do guys um, just listen to the customer see what they're saying kind of get a feel for what they what they need and really make a decision off of that because the last thing you wanna do is drive to all these places and waste your time for somebody that doesn't wanna pay those prices that you need in order to keep your business running. If you like this video and like to know more tips um, about how to start a junk removal business or how to run it, please subscribe to this channel. I'll be putting out more content and thank you for watching.